Mabuhay! Travel writing is a literary genre that involves describing and sharing personal experiences, observations, and reflections about a particular journey, destination, or travel-related topic. It aims to transport readers to different places, cultures, and experiences through vivid and engaging storytelling. Travel writers often combine um, elements of narrative, description, and commentary to create a compelling and immersive account of their travels. Here are some key elements of the travel writing. First is personal perspective, descriptive detail, narrative structure, authenticity, diverse styles, research and preparation means that good travel writers contact research and preparation before embarking on a trip. Next is photography and visuals. Last is audience engagement, which means the travel writers often engage with readers through their writing, inviting them to share in their experience, ask questions, and even plan their own trips based on the writer's recommendations and insights. Next is understanding copyright, trademark, patent, plagiarism, and defamation is crucial when writing travel writing as it helps you navigate the legal and ethical consideration associated with publishing your work. First, we have the copyright, legal right that protects the use of your work once your idea has been physically expressed. In travel writing, this can be relevant when co um, quoting other writers using photographs or referencing information from books, websites, or other resources. All these attribute and seek permission when necessary. Trademark, a name or symbol that a company uses on its products and that cannot legally be used by another company when writing travel pieces. You may mention specific hotels, restaurants, or businesses. And using trademarks correctly ensures you don't inadvertently misrepresent a brand or engage in trademark infringement. Avoid using trademarks in a way that might suggest an endorsement or affiliation if it doesn't exist. Next is patent, the official legal right to make or sell an invention for a particular number of years. Understanding patent law can be relevant in travel writing when discussing innovations as technological advancements in the travel industry. Ensure you accurately represent patent technologies and avoid making false claims about their benefits or origin. Plagiarism, presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own with or without their consent by incorporating it into your work without full acknowledgement. In travel writing, this could involve copying other, another's writer's descriptions, stories, or insights because plagiarism is not only unethical but can also result in legal consequences and damage to your reputation as a writer. Always give credit when using someone else's work and strive to create original content. Next is defamation. Defamation involves making false statements that harm a person's or entity's reputation. In travel writing, it's important to be accurate and fair in your descriptions and criticisms of people, places, or businesses. Making false claims or exaggerated negative statements can lead to defamation. Lawsuits um, stick to facts and clearly differentiate between opinions and verifiable information. So again, by understanding these legal and ethical considerations, travel writers can protect themselves from legal issues, um, from the because this uh, uh, is ignorance of the law that is not valid defense. So understanding these concepts can help you avoid legal troubles. Next, you maintain credibility, properly attributing sources, respecting trademarks, and avoiding plagiarism. Demonstrate and professionally similar integrity to your readers and the industry. Next, you have promote ethical writing because ethical writing. Uh, fosters trust among readers, publishers, and fellow writers. Next, you have to preserve your reputation um, because it can severely damage your reputation as a writer, making it harder to get published in the future. Proper attribution and ethnics. Ethnics are one of the most overlooked elements of travel writing. Every day, many people write blogs about their travel, take the pictures of the place they visited, and people they encountered. Then post it in their social media accounts 
without really considering the impact of their post, description, and photos regarding the actual place. And this has been the problem ever since in travel advertising. And they still do this frequently. If you will notice the travel ads um, promoting vacation to Hawaii, they always include happy native. They present people as object to um, encourage tourists or travelers to visit the country. That's how 5Ws were introduced. 5Ws is a key tool to remember when you were describing people. So what are the 5Ws? We have what, where, who, when, and why. The goal of this 5Ws is to provide concrete details and history as opposed to abstraction and generalities. We also have attribution, meaning citing. It can be direct and indirect. Attribution is another area often problematic in travel writing in bringing source materials, whether background info, images, and quotes, and giving proper attribution for it. As a writer, it's your obligation to let your readers know where the info came from by citing it properly. Factors for travel writing First, location with natural beauty. Second, place traveler has never been. Third, freedom to decide what to do during the trip. Fourth, opportunity to experience local history and culture and other recreation areas, dining, nightlife, and shopping. Travel writing offers a wide array of captivating topics ranging from the airline, rail, and cruise industries to savoring delectable culinary experiences in hotels and restaurants. It also provides valuable insights through expert tips and the personal perspectives shared in letters from readers. Travel writers delve into the world of luggage and rentals, helping travelers make informed choices. They transport readers to exotic destinations through vivid descriptions of food, shopping, personal care, and wine experiences. Weather conditions and practical advice for business travelers are also essential themes. In the realm of travel writing, a unique challenge arises as it must skillfully cater to two distinct audiences, those who have not yet ventured to the destination being described and those who have already set foot there. It must weave a narrative that is both informative and enticing, offering fresh insights and enticing details for the uninitiated while also providing a deeper level of connection, nostalgia, and discovery for those who can relate to the author's experiences and perspective. This dual engagement is the hallmark of effective travel writing, where words serve as a bridge between the unexplored and the familiar, capturing the essence of a place for all readers. And lastly, to succeed in travel writing, focus on destinations, historical sites, festivals, national parks, cities, accommodations, and dining options with a scenic view. Offer practical advice on transportation and admission prices while conveying the atmosphere and personal insights like parking tips to engage and assist readers. Tips in travel writing. Number one, understand why you're writing. Second, make it your own. Third, Know the general rules of travel writing. And fourth, edit your travel writing. Fifth, avoid travel writing cliches. Six, be confident in your abilities. And last but not the least, continually hone your craft. Why people do travel writing? What is the purpose of travel writing? Travel writing introduces us to new places, people, and ideas. Truly great travel writing can transport us give us a glimpse of far-flung places, and provide inspiration or escapism. Guides are usually written in the third person, whereas personal accounts tend to be the first person. Travel writing can take many forms, such as newspaper articles, essays, journals, blogs, and autobiography. How to make an inspirational travel writing. Number one, have a clear storyline in mind. Make sure your article has a purpose. Edit your experience to fit your story. Four, 
write an irresistible first paragraph. Five, you must include dialogues. Six, value the difference between show and tell. And last but not the least, aim to entertain the reader, not to impress them.